Today we are taking a look at the Vermeisen Portable Wrist Strap Tester. The tester is supplied with a 9 volt alkaline battery, a banana plug 10mm adapter, a hook and loop fastener strip and a calibration certificate. Before first use, open the wrist strap tester's battery compartment and install the included 9 volt battery. Ensure that the battery's polarities are orientated in the correct fashion to avoid any possible circuit damage. If desired, use the included hook and loop fastener strip to mount the tester to a wall or work surface. To perform a test, fit the wristband snugly onto your wrist and snap the coiled cord to the wristband. Then plug the coiled cord into the tester's banana jack. If you are testing a wrist cord with a 10mm snap, then the included banana plug 10mm adapter should be used. When you are ready to perform a test, push and hold the test button until the test results are displayed. If the test fails, an audible alarm will sound. Should this happen, verify if your wrist strap is being worn correctly or if it needs to be replaced. If your test result fails high, Try applying to your wrist an approved dissipative hand lotion such as the Restore ESD Hand Lotion. This portable unit is a battery operated on demand wrist strap tester. When the wearer of a wrist strap plugs in their coiled cord and pushes the unit's metallic electrode, a path for current flow is completed from the wearer's skin and through the wrist strap. This action will cause the green Test Good LED to illuminate. As long as the resistance of the circuit path is between 750 kiloohms and 35 megaohms, which conforms with the ESD standard. A great advantage of this wrist strap tester is its portable small package. Supervisors can use it to spot check users on the shop floor. Tests can also be performed during normal use at the workstation, so operators don't have to leave their work area. In addition, test results include fail low, pass and fail high. So if the wrist strap fails, the operator will know if the failure is due to the resistance being too high or too low.